Plant Peddlers Variety Day for poinsettias, it's a pretty big event. It's a lot of work getting set up, getting the crop growing. Um, we run it with our normal production block. So it's a real true test that fits in with, with our production crew. One of the really cool things about our poinsettia trial is that we see get to see the, the new innovations and things that our breeders are doing in poinsettias. But one of the new things they're breeding really heavily for is early to color poinsettia. So the bracts actually turn color to their reds, whites, whatever color they're going to be. And then this flower in the middle, the saathia, is blooming late. This poinsettia event is one of the nationally recognized trials furthest north in the USA. Uh, we have 170 plus commercial varieties here today. Uh, in trial. All the breeders represented here gave presentations on their various new varieties. A lot of benchmark commercial varieties have been out for years and a really nice group of innovative new varieties coming to the market uh, were presented today. So a very beautiful day in Northeast Iowa. Hi, I'm Delilah Onifrey with Suntory Flowers and this is a big introduction year for Prinsettia. We have six new varieties, three in the classic compact class and three in the emerging medium vigor queen size class, which many growers are very excited for with the larger pot production, six to eight inch. So let's start with the new compact varieties. We actually have what you could call a novelty within a novelty these sparkling varieties. The sparkling rouge, lots of very strong interest in this. We have this really gorgeous pattern. You know, this is a dark reddish pink bracked with light pink splashy pattern, sparkling rouge. And then we also have sparkling rosé. So very festive pair here, rouge and rosé. Get the bubbly going with these gorgeous new poinsettias. We also have Prinsettia Pure Red, which is an improvement on the current red. We're going to keep both varieties for a transitional time, but the Pure Red is a more true Christmas red flower with the red Cyathea versus yellow and also solves some of the flecking issues that can arise on the current red. So for a couple of years we had Prinsettia Queen, which People really love the vibrant color and sizing up for six and eight inch. Well, now we've got four gorgeous colors. This rose punch is capturing a lot of attention. A really gorgeous tropical punch color not seen in any other variety. And the shell pink is like the inside of a seashell. Very unique designer color. Very pretty for a florist premium upgrade. And we also have a hot pink, so four pinks in the Prinsettia Queen series. Gorgeous. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Simmons of the Express Seed Company. I'm the director of InBloom, which is our indoor potted flowering business unit devoted to all things indoor potted flowering crops, which, you know, we wouldn't talk about indoor potted flowering crops without poinsettias. I'm here today at the Plant Peddler Trial and I want to talk to you about three of our most important varieties in our portfolio. This one, Ruby Red. Ruby was new last year. We're really excited about Ruby because of the incredibly dark, rich bracts that you see here. Interesting orangish toned saithia, dark foliage, Nice V-shaped architecture. This is a variety that's gonna work in a number of container sizes from four inch all the way up to eight inch. The next variety I wanna highlight is a variety called Mirage Red. This is really the workhorse in our poinsettia program in that it's a versatile variety that works in all container sizes from four inch all the way to 10 inch. It has nice, easy branching, and it has bracts that expand and show color earlier with Cyathea that mature later. And that's important from a selling perspective. It gives us a nice long selling window and those Cyathea are really gonna shine all the way through the holiday season, which we hope the consumers recognize as the freshness index. Easy variety with easy branching, minimal PGR needs, and it works in all regions of the country. And the last variety I'd like to highlight is Toro Red. This is a really beautiful upscale variety with some medium to high vigor. It's gonna work really well in things like straight ups so or those no pinch product forms uh, for eights and 10 inch trees, presidential forms, all those things. It's got that really nice large satiny bract that looks great under retail lights. Uh, it has an eight week response time, eight to an eight and a half week response time. So it's gonna work really well for those late uh, church sales as well. Uh, nice upright architecture and dark foliage. And again, just a really nice, easy grower friendly variety. Hello, I'm Steve Reinhardt from 
I'm Reinhardt Poinsettias. I'd like to talk to you about four special poinsettias today. First one being Jack Frost. If you have followed Reinhardt Poinsettias, you know that breeding white whites have been extremely important. We've had great success with it. Uh, Jack Frost is a prime example of really elevating what we can do with white whites. It's a mid-season, medium compact, but more than anything, it throws a lot of color on top of the plant, so Jack Frost. The second white that I'd like to talk about is pure white. As the name suggests, it is a white white, upright, throws like candles early. Uh, growers that need a poinsettia with some vigor and with some earliness are choosing pure white. Okay, a couple of reds that are resembling the Reinhardt characteristics is Fortuna red, a new red, dark leaf, medium, vigor. But more importantly, if you look at the stem structure, extremely upright, strong stem, that's what you're gonna see characteristic in the Reinhardt poinsettias with a smaller cyathea than Ranch Red, but significant. This is Fortuna. And then the second red that I would like to feature is Rojo. And in Rojo, again, look at the branching. Extremely strong, upright. This is a mid-season, so week 48. Good cyathea, but for extending sales of poinsettias, and the mid-season timing is Rojo. So Rojo will not stretch. It's got nice compact growth, so it's a great choice for the mid-season. Hello, my name is Jerome Steenbergen. Uh, I'm the area manager at Midwest for, uh, for Beacon Camp and I'm here to talk about uh, some new varieties in our assortment. First, I want to talk to you about our new uh, Robin Marble. Uh, the Robin Marble is part of the Robin family, which I have over here on my left. We have four uh, different colors in that uh, range. It's all a true family, they're mutants of each other, um, so they perform exactly the same uh, thing. And the nice feature about the Robin family is that they are all very heat tolerant. So all the way down in South Texas, Southern Florida, the Robins will do great. So two new varieties, the Robin Marble and the Robin White. Combine them together with the red and the pink and you'll have a great lineup. And the next variety I want to show you is our latest introduction. It's called Luna Red. It's a little bit more vigorous variety and perfectly suitable for Canadian and the more northern states. The nice thing about Luna Red is the huge tight v-shape and it has very thick stems so you can grow this very dense and uh, get a lot of plants per square feet and then we go over to our last variety that's our top score in sales over the last two years uh, it's called kayla red kayla red beautiful oak leaf shaped bracts and a little darker foliage so you get a really nice contrast it's a very early variety seven weeks response time and a little bit more compact variety. And as you see, it finish up in a beautiful closed canopy. Hi, I'm Lauren Bloom. I work with Selecta One Poinsettias, and here we have our Aurora Queen. It's a beautiful novelty type, and for late season, eight and a half weeks, and it times really nicely with our Aurora Red. So this here is our early elegance. As you can see, we can time really nicely together. We have a red, a marble, and a pink, and we also have a really nice creamy white color that go along together. They're all sports of one another, so it really makes it nice. They can be combined or sold as alone, as standalones. They're early season variety, hence the name Early Elegance, and one of my personal favorites. So here we have our Christmas chorus and our Christmas song, which put together, they make a beautiful music. So Christmas chorus is your nice seven, seven and a half week variety, and then Christmas song comes later in at the eight, eight and a half week variety. Theirs are both new for 2024. What's really nice about these varieties is that they have earlier bract color and late cyathea development. So you can kind of cheat the system a little bit and get them into the store sooner if you need to. And they also hold better shelf life for the customers. 
Hi, I'm Tim Clark. I'm the Regional Sales Manager for the Midwest region for Duman Orange. Today I'm going to talk about the fabulous poinsettia, and it truly is fabulous. This is a mid-season variety with some really dark, velvety bracts. This variety here requires little to no PGRs, so it's extremely grower friendly. The next one that I'm going to talk about is the Early Polly's Pink. So this particular variety here is also a mid-season. It is the brightest pink on the market and it is our brightest pink as well. Really good vigor on this. This is meant for six inch all the way up to 10 inch and above. Really fantastic at retail, nice color. The last variety that we're gonna talk about is the Flurry. So this is a pure white. It is our brightest white available. This has excellent vigor and a really good shape. It's also another mid-season variety. This makes for excellent retail sales. Like I said, really good vigor and a nice good V-shaped variety. Hello, my name is Nick Reed from Vivero, representing Lotsery Poinsettias today, introducing and promoting three red varieties for the upcoming poinsettia season. We're focusing on Aida, Carmen, and Maestro. First and foremost is response time. Both Aida and Carmen have a response time of seven and a half weeks, whereas Maestro has a response time of eight to eight and a half weeks. In terms of habit and growth, we have Aida, which is a more vigorous type. And as you go from Aida to Carmen and to Maestro, your vigor decreases. So vigorous, medium vigor, also medium vigor, but a little bit less. If you look at bract size, Carmen has the largest bract size, followed by Aida and Maestro. When we're looking at color, Carmen has the brightest red, whereas at Maestro and Aida have a more traditional true red color to them. They all have a V shape in terms of shipping and high density production. I would go with Carmen or Maestro. And in terms of pot size, it, go, it correlates directly with Vigor. And so Aida is going to have a more versatile pot size from four inch to tree. It also, in terms of region, Aida can be grown all over the United States from Northeast to Southwest. Whereas Carmen and Maestro are going to do best from the Northeast, the Mid-Atlantic and the Midwest. Hello, my name is Michael Paretsky. I'm the Ohio Branch Sales Manager for the ARU Company in Strongsville, Ohio. Today we're talking about poinsettia packaging. Here is our Holiday Beauty Petal Pouch. It's a gift-ready grab-and-go for garden centers or grocery stores. Here we have a decorative burlap pot cover with a pre-tied ribbon, a definite upgrade over your standard metallic pot cover. This is a decorative holiday tin with a liner inside. Gives great dimension to a beautiful poinsettia. And finally, this is our Glitterati series. This is a glitter pot cover with minimal additional input. You get a great visual appeal. This is an opportunity for producers to evaluate there are not only current genetics that they're producing, but to look at what's in the pipeline for new genetics, to simplify their culture, to find varieties that match uh, the season of bloom that they're looking for, the vigor, the habit, uh, deeper, richer colors, varieties that require less growth regulators and fungicides, uh, better brack color retention. We appreciate everybody coming to Cresco in the middle of nowhere. Look at our poinsettia trial. We want everybody you know, it's open door here. They're, they're welcome to come look at it at any point in time. We want to share it. 